icosahedron. First, use rectangle tool to draw a golden section on the ground. It is easier to complete this project if a rectangle is centered at the origin. So, triple click to select rectangle and use the move tool to place it on the center. It is easier if you use the tape measure tool to find the center. You can now delete the guides. Make a group of a rectangle by triple clicking right button make a group. Rotate copy the rectangle once. First select use the tool rotate and select the green axis. Press the shift key and then the control key to make a copy. Now rotate this rectangle. Repeat this step in the other direction. Rotate, copy, and Rotate the rectangle. <clears throat> now you should have three golden section rectangles that are all centered at the origin. Use the line to connect a corner point of one rectangle to the two corners of the edge closest to it. This makes your first triangle which is equilateral. All sides are equal. Create the rest of the triangles the same way. There should be 20 triangles in all. You have just made an icosahedron. Now select all the points in all the edges and all the faces and we are going to make a copy. Select the move tool, press the control key and we are going to make a copy. Now we are going to use colors 
and using only five colors we are going to paint the different faces use a paint bucket and first with red yellow green blue and pink Here's a challenge. Color the icosahedron using only five colors so that no color is repeated in any corner. Five different colors. Five different colors. Five different colors. Red, yellow, green, blue, and pink. Now select again the first icosahedron and make a copy. On one of the triangle faces, we are going to make an hexagon. To do this, you can divide each triangle edge into three segments by first select the line, right click on it and press divide. Move the pointer of the mouse until you get three segments. Divide three segments and divide into three segments. Then you can connect the endpoints of these new segments. Now you have an hexagon. Complete all the faces with hexagons. Divide the lines and connect the endpoints. Divide connect the endpoints. Divide three segments. can rotate the lines you 
into three segments. And the last edge divided into three segments. You now have <coughs> five sets of triangles. One, two, three, four, five. Between each ring of five hexagons. One, two, three, four, five hexagons. Erase the edges of these triangles. And if this happens, use a line to replace the face where there's a hole. Use the line to replace the face. Yeah. Here we can see the mistake. 
there's a gap between those two points. Now you can paint the hexagons with black for example paint two different hexagons pentagons with black And now you have a football ball.